You did not ask my permission to be filmed. It's a public space I'm allowed to, but I'm doing it for my own protection because I'm being harassed by this Officer Herbs. I'm being harassed by this guy and I'm still waiting for the watch commander, mister. I, I'm not sure if he's coming or not. What I can inform you though, sir, is that based on everything here, we need to ensure that you're going to be safe and the tow is going to be safe and we don't want to render damage to your vehicle. So what we need is the keys to the vehicle because it's a I fucking made it out, dude. Oh my god. When was the last time we talked? So much shit happened. I'm security for City of Florida. Okay, can you please explain to me? Because I'm really confused why this officer is here. So you've been camped here since 10 o'clock this morning with the protesting group? And I Well, not camping. Yeah. I've parked here, yes. So we're, we're, we're coming here to let you... We were coming here to let you know that if you're still here tomorrow morning, it's a bylaw offense. Okay. You, you cannot camp on any city street over Okay. I am asking you, you you're harassing is me. Is your first name Marcel? What is your name? Is Maxine in the car? Maxine? Maxine. Who is Maxine? So you are Marcel? Who is Maxine? Can I confirm your full legal name with you, sir? What is your name? I'm ready to provide nothing. it as soon as you provide your name, because I asked first. What? I don't give a shit if you're right. asking me. Not a problem, sir. What so is your name? At 9 o'clock. You morning. have to tell me your name. I'm going to... I'll provide it to you in writing, on paper. No, I need Thank to see you. your badge number, sir. No Show me your badge number. I don't have a badge to show you. I need your ID. Okay, I'm... And if you're failing to produce your ID... Show me the traffic ordinance in the book. Send me the traffic ordinance because I don't... I don't have to send you anything, I, well, sir. Well, and I don't have to give you my name, the sir. The traffic bylaw is very clear. Section 4.1.2W. I'll grab a flashlight. Okay, um, take up a bulb. 4 point... Sorry, 4 point what? 1.2W. 4 point... Right okay, yeah, this is up higher. 4.12... Oh, I see. M-O-O-P. Can you just pass me the book? I'm no, not, I can't. I'm not going to steal it. like right in here. Oh, my God. Okay. N O no W's R F I don't see no W, sorry. I don't see a W. And I'm waiting for a watch commander to come down and and a midi mitigate a situation here on Stewart Road. I'm being harassed by um, police and bylaw on Stewart Road and it's um um it's really scary, so uh, like, I like I'm okay. waiting for the watch sure. commander and nobody's calling me back. Okay, let me just see here where you are because I haven't spoken with you today. I'm in, I'm in Kelowna. Are, oh, are you the watch commander? No, Marcel, I'm not. Okay? I'd like you to come to the window so we can have a talk. Okay, I feel threatened and this is really scary and I haven't done anything. Nope. I was minding my own business parking here and I'm being, at, I'm being hassled by this okay. officer, Herbs. Okay. okay, Marcel, come to the side window so we can have well, a talk. I'm, having, I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for your watch commander and I'm on the phone with your RCMP. Okay, I'm not the RCMP. No, I know, so I'm not talking to you. Um, hello? Hello, this is Marcel. Yes. Marcel, hi. It's Corporal Hall from the watch office here, Cologne RCMP. Uh, the only rule is that a person is not allowed to camp overnight in a trailer on, or in a, sorry, in a vehicle yeah, on like, city property. Essentially, like, I think that's maybe what they were trying to avoid you doing. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce the driver's license. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. I did a five part series and I still have to edit part six because that was a three hours detained for three hours by him and all the people swarm in the RV. That bylaws is in the interest of moving your vehicle because it's been here overturned. Well then why didn't bylaw knock on the door? Because by, this is a bylaw complaint. So why is the officer knocking on my door before bylaw is, that's, right? That's not the case. That's not how I understand it at all. Security interacted with you. Further security, today. you were with security and you knocked on the door. Okay, so what can I do for you? You have your ID is what I've asked you for. I, I don't need to give you ID. Okay, then I'll be towing your car. Because he probably just is like, this is so fucking stupid, you know? You guys think this is pretty stupid too, I hope, right? This is, you know, hey guys over there, I'm a human, you know, this is not appropriate, you know, like, this is nuts, this herb guy. Hey, all it's I want trivial, is this whole thing. Tell you, you can't camp here overnight. Uh, yeah. That's all I want. We're security for the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. Yeah, me neither. I don't like it either, dude. It's terrible. I know. So, um, so sir, um, I hope you understand the situation that I was in. I did not nothing wrong, um, and I just I don't I want to come to an understanding with you. That we're both happy. I mean, I'm I've been have three hours of this agitation. Um, 
can I just give you 50 bucks and you'd be happy? And, um, and I mean, I'm out 50 bucks, no. but... Because um, you've got to realize that's a $200,000 truck. Have somebody just review the ticket to see that it's illegitimate. This was just during um, January 29th when they were having a, um, the Freedom Convoy was downtown. Uh, I looked at everything from the video to the, um, well, just over the notes and, and whatever. And then I consulted with my direct manager. And we came to the determination that, that we couldn't really see any issue with uh, the officer conduct necessarily. Like there wasn't nothing to pursue there that we could see. However, given the circumstances and how everything played out, we were comfortable with pulling it all back and, and calling it back from collections. Okay, I'm just trying to educate you so you know well in advance. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, educate uh, yourself. Steve, hold on a second. Okay. Are you bylaw? Yes, I am. Okay, what's your name, please? So we clarify that. It's bylaw 17. That's my name. Number yeah, 17. Bylaw, yes. go fuck yourself. I told them there's a hippie in a in an RV just having dinner, and they're picking on him because he's got Canadian flags. That, that was my. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> You're a hippie. Stop acting flags. like a child. I just told you motor vehicle accident. What is your name, sir? You're going to be on YouTube if you keep this That's up. That's fine. I like YouTube. All right, why I've don't you show more, me your face and be I've human? I've got more fans than you do. So, yeah, the tow truck driver, he doesn't care. He puts it under my front wheels, and I'm, and then the cop comes back. He's like, okay, we're, you're, you're being towed. Now you need to get out of the vehicle so we can tow it. Like, like he's like, are you stupid? Yeah, I wasn't going to get out of the vehicle for you in the first place, second place, and certainly not now. Like, is that st so stupid? But then it continues because then the dinosaur media, the paid for media, the narrative on pay is Castanet Media in our local area. Castanet is taking all the money and funneling out all this bullshit. They just follow the narrative. They are part of the narrative. They are absolutely terrible human beings who are still working there and, oh, it's just my job to funnel fake information. So they did a smear piece on me in collaboration with the RCMP. So let's take a look. You can see they grab a photo of me where it appears that I'm smiling. And I know this video very well because after I got shut the door on herbs on the very first video, I film myself and I'm like, can you just believe this bullshit? And as you've probably seen in the video, just, you know, a chuckle to myself about how stupid this is and how stupid this RCMP officer is and how much of wasting his own time and my time and the city taxpayer's money. So I'm just looking through some old screenshots of messages and so here's a funny one. 7.59 p.m. February 1st, what a joke. So you were doing all this to gain views? That's hilarious. You mean to say somehow you managed to get a cop to attend for a video shoot? You called them to be an actor in your video shoot? Did you actually arrange for a cop to tend in order to get views? What stupid logic the cops and cast in a use? As if you asked the cop to drop by. Oh, it's such a good point. I totally forgot to mention in the beginning. It's like, hello, RCMP, Kelowna. Can you send me down some crazy herbs? Uh, I'm making a film for YouTube about police harassment. Yes. Okay, great. Herbs is on his way. Like, man, wild, huh? And the narrative... <laughs> is pretty well sewn into it. Who wrote this article? Let's look at that. Rob Gibson, another terrible human. Rob, you are a piece of shit. Like seriously, this is a story on me. This is my story. You saw the first two 10 minute clips. What about the rest of the three hours? What about contacting me to get the story? You contacted Macintosh, Mr. Propaganda at RCMP. You watched the video and didn't ask to see what happened after that or what the rest of the story was or what my personal story was because this is a story that you guys propaganded or trying to smear me. You guys are sending hate phone calls to me. You're sending, you're sending your haters to email me. That's dangerous what you guys are doing and doing smearing without getting a story to even go around it. This is not journalism. Have you ever looked up journalism ethics? I did. Let me go find it.
We make every effort to verify the identities and background of our sources. We seek documentation to support the reliability of those sources and their stories. And we carefully are careful to distinguish between assertions and fact. The onus is on us to verify all information, even when it emerges on deadline. Now, under fairness, we respect the rights of people involved in the news. We give people, companies, or organizations that are public accused or criticized opportunity to respond before we publish those criticisms or accusations. We make a genuine and reasonable effort to contact them, and if they decline to comment, we say so. So the article did not say I declined comment. It did not say they tried to ask me any questions. My phone number is on my website. My phone number, all the haters were able to find it, that these leftist nuts people, nutso people, who don't understand anything about the narrative. ...get paid? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not Ford paying... has to get impounded. Yeah, well, and then that's not that's appropriate. The case, then they have to step in because you're refusing to pay the outstanding bill. Sir, this is not appropriate. That's not my problem. It's, my problem it is, is your to problem. do my job. And my problem is to live. My job. Is to, you're the. I told you not to hook up. That's your fault, dude. No, I have to hook up when they tell me. Well, you're me under to contract. Do my job, so then you're. I have to do what. The you know. RCMP so you work for Mario, and yeah. you're under contract, and you contract with the RCMP yeah. as being their main tow thing. So yeah. you can they take it up with the, the RCMP. So you should take it nope. up with the RCMP. Because when I was sent down here, I was told it was at owner's expense. So, <laughs> this is a very yeah, weird situation. I, I was... <sighs> so, I mean, I made a, a legitimate offer for him, 50 bucks in his pocket. I told him, don't put, hook up to me. You know, I'm in the vehicle, I'm not leaving. He's the... So if the tow truck driver wants to sit around and, and send me to small claims court and we'll have all this go to evidence, you know, that would be his solution. Um, good luck with that. This is between, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The RCMP was in wrong. He should take it up with that RCMP officer and have him fit the bill, I'd think. Yeah, this is some passive aggressive shit. He's just trying to screw you without... Yeah, very passive aggressive. Yeah, that's what this is. This is just a fuck you to you, is what this is from him. And you're not going to put up with that, no. Mario, Mario's and... Mario is a huge freaking business with a contract. It's like, oh my god, it's not yeah, bad, guys. They don't get paid per load. Yeah, they got a contract. Oh, and like, he already get in... Uh, paid, like a salary from the cops. Like, who knows it? And he just gave me a ticket they, they for... He gave me a ticket for... Um, Fail, fail roadside front plate no red flag what does that even mean no red flag 109 and 109 he gave me a 220 dollar ticket 218 dollar ticket what is no red flag what does that even mean you should call rebel news about this i bet you they would fight this ticket oh you're you. yeah yeah you're right i should have all the video totally went, see it'd be like i got a ticket for having the canadian flag on i bet you that would drive oh my crazy. god this is huge dude a yeah, ticket for the freaking flag. flag. How can you get a ticket for the flag? Like, that's, I, I don't know how the hell that works. Well, I don't know. This is insane. I've heard of that. That's new. Insane. It's, it's almost as if he was just making it up as he's going along. No, <laughs> no red flag. You're not. A, it's a white and red. It's our country. No red flag. Is your bike in the back? Yeah. Like even if he picked up the front, the rear would drag along the whole way. It, none of it makes any sense. I told him too. And the bike's on the back. This is untowable. It's, the truck weighs freaking a lot, and <laughs> yeah, he could tow me, but you know he'd have to disconnect the drive shaft. It's all, it's you know, it's rear wheel drive. He has to drag it on the rear. It's insane, dude. The tow truck driver is a freaking idiot, man. What an oh, idiot! Oh, I know, I know. This is he, he's just. I know how we. I pulled that shit too. You know, all of a sudden you get a swollen head over some bullshit, and then you start pulling the. I can screw you because I can. Shit, I've done that too. I know exactly what he's doing. I've kind of gotten over that. You know, like, no feel for you. Officer Eve not, hasn't even left. He hasn't, hasn't left yet or anything. You, know, you, you learn to overcome that stupidity, right? It's like the person who gets. It's like the, you know when you give a kid the hall manager badge and he acts like a total idiot, and like he, he takes it to his head, the pig, and he abuses the power. That's kind of what's happening here. <laughs> He's the hall manager. Yeah.
<laughs> the whole monitor? Their head gets swollen and they think that they have more power than, you know, they use it. Oh, so crazy. That's what this guy's doing. He's just, oh, da 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 I've been sitting here 200,000 dollars. Well, it's not his fucking truck. What the fuck does he care? Yeah. If he wasn't, no, so I know it, what these guys do. They just sit there in their trucks and idle and wait for a call. That's all they do. Like, it I know. It doesn't matter. He didn't have another call anyways. Yeah. If he had another call, he'd leave and go get that call. Well, he should, yeah, he should. That's what he should be doing, is focusing his attention to make some money. And I don't, red flags on the back. I haven't driven the vehicle. You could put, like, a flag in your vehicle and not drive with it still. I can take him off when I leave, you know what I mean? I think he's talking about because of the bike hangs off the back. Oh, oh yeah, well that would have, yeah. No, but I haven't driven yet. No, no dude, the Canadian flag, the Canadian, the Canadian flag is normally hanging off the bike. So, it, I haven't moved yet, so the ticket is invalid. Yeah, I know, it's not like you're driving on the road. Oh man, this is so stupid. I was just sitting here minding my business, now I got the... These fucking idiots okay. are just ruining the whole fucking night. Yeah, so an, an SUV RCMP just left. I don't know if that was Hall. I don't know. Because the other guy's still here, the scary guy. Eve, herbed. Herb. I hope he doesn't talk to me. And there's more bylaw here still. They're all figuring it out. Jesus Christ, Marshall. you might end up just having to sleep the road night because they can't tow it as long as you have it. The bylaw will give you tickets for camping there overnight. Yeah, that's you fine. Have to. Wait, wait this bastard out if you have to because he cannot move you. Like, no, I gotta wait till he's off shift, dude. I gotta wait it out. Yeah, seriously, wait him out. They, they, they work from 7 till 7, I'm pretty sure, these guys. Well, so can you... At 7 in the morning. Is there somebody to phone on Verify that? Uh, when their shifts are? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's 7. That's pretty much when everybody shifts out. And that cop will be done at 7 too, by the way. Just so that we're all on the same page for your video log, it's 22, 14 hours. You're saying that you've been here since 7.51 p.m. No, that's, that's when you knocked hours. on the door. That's over three hours. Because I'm waiting, I was waiting for okay. for you. The watch commander. Okay. Because I felt so, threatened by you, of you course. Felt threatened. Okay. And I so still At this do. point, I think all of us want the same thing. And that's I, I just want to go home and I don't want him to tow me and I don't need tickets we for no reason. We don't want to tow you. We, well, you've already received a ticket for overturned parking, I believe. Is the yeah, and it, and bylaw is fine, yeah. And, the, and the, he, the bylaw could have knocked on the door, obviously, you know. I'm a human, right? I'm a human. So are you. So is him. Everybody's human here. I, I was not causing an issue. I was, I was a very good citizen on the side of the road here, not causing any harm to anybody. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Honestly, I do not deserve to have this stress for three hours. So, I, so the question now is, are you sober to drive this vehicle away? I've been sober the whole time. I do not okay. drink. Excellent. Well, you've prevented that process from, from being uh, completed. No, so you can are scaring me. Can you have really up to him. Can you have when, him when I, leave and the tow truck? Yeah. If he and the tow truck left, then I would leave on my own terms. What's that? If you, if just, Officer just Herb... One but, so, just one second. No, that's great. Um, and that's what we want. We want you to get in and leave. I want to leave on my own cord, yeah. We'll hassle you, we'll see you and, off, we'll... And I, and I don't we'll want him... We'll drive away and we won't be following you or... Yes, you yes, I don't want him pulling me over as I soon as I get in the vehicle. as soon as you leave, he will not be stopping you. And you will make it to where you go. I want to go to my house. As long as you're not committing any gross violations. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, you can understand that I'm concerned that even with your guarantee, the way I've been treated for no reason, I'm a freaking Canadian citizen here. I do not deserve to be treated like this. This is complete harassment and... And I'm trying to figure out exactly how we get you out of here. I know. Okay, so Can, we, have a few, we have a few hurdles. One, the tow truck's here. His time is now... And arrested. that's not my fault. That's his fault. No, it's your fault. So You were afforded ample time. How, no, I was waiting was for the watch commander. Uh, he has, you have to make payment to the tow operator. I was waiting for the, you, the watch commander, and he called the tow truck. That's not, I waited for, and he kept telling me to get out, and I'm like, I'm not doing anything until we have another voice mediator here, which is your, uh, Dr. Hall. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce a driver's license. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. I don't know what happened to you today, dude, okay. but I'm not your problem. I'm satisfied if you serve the ticket. Do you want to show him your ID? You just have to hold it up so I can see who since, you are. Since, I won't even take it in hand. I will look at it. I'll be satisfied that I'm talking to Marcel. At least then we've 
met that process. We'll hand you the process so that there's no further follow-up from us with respect to this issue. You won't be seeing him again about this problem, and you'll be on your way. Well, I'll be seeing him in court then, obviously. Well, yes, that's... Yep, I'll yeah. be there for that with all of my evidence. You'll have your process explained to you. You'll have your right to have your decision heard they, in court. they sent that cop to do the important investigations, eh? Yeah, um... Yeah, like, this is his big investigation for the night? Like, wow. This is, yeah, he's... That's you, your investigation for the night. Um, um, this, this is not <laughs> this appropriate. Is an open case file? Like, um, I haven't done anything wrong. I don't deserve any tickets or a tow. Um, how about Shit. we just have you go about your business and, and well, the I will. The alternative is that we continue to try and seek you out in order to serve these tickets on you by verifying your identity and giving you the tickets. <laughs> It's just, I mean, it's and an... I don't think either of us want to have that much work hanging over our <laughs> this heads. Is crazy, yeah? This is crazy, right I, I know it. I don't know about that, this whole process here. Um, That's fine. It's explained on the document. I'm not driving the vehicle. The vehicle is parked legally on the road. You are in control of a motor vehicle the vehicle, on the The vehicle, obviously, is going to do what the vehicle is doing. Um, I can't control oh, that. And I don't... Yes. Perhaps the one was satisfied. This is turning into a pretty pathetic charade here. Like, what is going on here? Can't everybody just go on their way? Like, seriously? Yeah, can everybody just go on their way? Like, I deserve, I deserve to go free from this harassment. I think that's appropriate. Just like this, okay, everyone, everybody just everyone just go on their way. I can't tell you enough how much I want you just to go. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> like, what is wrong with this herbs cop? I don't know what's wrong with this herbs cop. This has just gone out of hand. And this hole is in a tough spot because he wants to stand behind That's his guy, but he knows how stupid Plus, he is. Yeah, I know. He knows he's freaking exactly. Let's talk over here outside. Right? He's in a sticky spot, right? He probably just is like, this is so fucking stupid, you know? Security for the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. They're oh, talking. He's talk He's trying to convince them to leave. Just He's trying to convince them. And then, dude, I need somebody else to almost drive my vehicle away. Fuck. No, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll leave you alone. Dude, he's gonna stalk me for all I know. Yeah. He's dug in right now. For him, it's a matter of principle. I'm gonna call him. How can anybody say no? That's what he's thinking, right? Totally. So for him, it's all pride. And for me, it's, it's a lot. For it's, you, it's a matter of principle. It's a matter of principle. There's a difference. You're in the right here. He's just acting out of pride. The karma cop, how dare you say no, right? That's what this is about for him. For you, it's, you know, I am perfectly within my rights to stay here. I'll leave here when I damn well please, you know? Yeah. That's all this is. It's come down to you. Dude, right? how this do is we, these, This is... I feel like I'm the pastor, you know, who got arrested on the street there, right? Yeah. Well, not quite. Yeah, they were really going... Yeah, that guy, he's, he's still kicking it. He's still out there helping people and doing his thing. He's a brave guy. No, he got arrested again, dude, at the, when he was oh, supporting the convoy. Yeah, he, he gets arrested. Oh, he's a brave guy. No, I mean, he just got arrested like a day or two ago to support yeah, the convoy. Yeah, I know. He was, uh, he was out at that support thing, and then they came and grabbed him or something. Yeah, and of course, and then... And he's the, like, what is this for? And they're like, oh, we have a warrant for you. He's like, what? No, no, that was a he's month like, ago. Was, that was like three weeks ago. No, another time. I, I had people commenting on my YouTube saying, oh my God, this guy's been arrested again today. We need to help him. And he was just at the supporting the convoy in whatever area of Alberta. Because <sighs> he just, yeah, he, he disappeared after the last arrest that it was on film, right? And he's like, you're going to, you're going to treat me a lot like, um, you're going to do it. You're going to be a Nazi. You're going to do it Nazi, arrest me Nazi style. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's pretty sad. Oh, man. I've seen Alberta too. Alberta's like... You know, I thought Alberta was going to end up being like Florida, like the last, you know, God's country, safe haven, right? And it was for a while, but then Kenny, he just folded like a cheap suit, you know? Yeah, I don't know yeah, exactly. I wish I had a freaking lawyer on the phone of Canada. Like, I got the friends in the States and stuff, but like, who's a Canadian lawyer I have on the phone in it? Well, but yeah, but they're expensive. No, no, you need a buddy. You need a buddy. And then you got, is it Corporal Hall? Yeah. Canada, I don't ever understood how the, like the rankings in Canada were. It's, I think it's different in the states. In the states, they have like sergeant, lieutenant, whatever. Here, it's a little different. They have like. Marcel. Marcel, here's Officer, your ticket. Officer Eves. 
Okay, well, there you go. That's yours. Thank so you for taking it, man. The, the only, he's going to go. The only thing you have to deal with is the tow truck. So he's here and he's hooked up to your vehicle. Yeah. It's, he, it's very unfair, but I understand, yeah. I know, but this is now he's in a place where he's not going to unhook without getting I know. I told the I told the tow truck driver, don't bother, dude. And he's like, it's just my job. I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm like, dude. So I tried to explain to that tow truck driver. So maybe I can come to an understanding with him and, you know, maybe um, help him, you know, like, you know, I don't like giving away cash. It's tough times these days. I, you know, I'm out of work because of the, the... At this point, if you want to come out and talk to him, I promise you that you will not be. Constable Herbs has done his business with you. He's not going to be speaking to you or having an interaction with you. Perfect, perfect. I am not going to be taking any enforcement for anything that's gone on up to this like point. Like, maybe I can give the tow truck driver, like, 50 bucks? You talk to him. If you want to come out and have a conversation, I, I, mean, I promise you you're not going to be arrested, hassled, identified. I'm not going to do anything to you other than just stand by and engage in the yeah. conversation. Can we just, I mean, it's obviously cold and be really quick if I just talk to the tow truck driver right here. Like, if you just, if you bring him over or ask him to come here and I'll just... I'll see if you'll take 50 bucks. At some point, though, you have to get out of your truck. No, I mean, yeah. you got to drive away. No, I know, but... Um, I, and I've come down... I I've, just don't want to deal with um, the tow truck driver just doing something inappropriate, holding me hostage as soon as I get out of the vehicle and saying, well, I'm towing you... I'm, I'm right here. Nobody's holding you hostage. No, no, no. The, the, the tow truck guy, and same, like, unreasonable, being unreasonable with me, right? Um, with the tow truck driver. Again, I did nothing wrong. You know that from 7.51 um, p.m. Um, so... Like I just want the tow truck driver unhook, and um, like I honestly, as a human, I don't, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't owe him anything, but I will alleviate the situation. Mm -hmm. I am conscious of of people, and um, so if we just have him come over here, and I'll give him, I'll talk to him real quick, and uh, maybe I can alleviate the situation real quickly with him. Absolutely. And um, and say. maybe you know, I mean, he hasn't done too much. Um, you know, I know he's waiting but around. It's going to be between you and him, and I, yeah. I'm not going to have a final say. In, and in absolutely, and I understand that. I just, and I again, I appreciate, I appreciate you. Okay, thank you for coming. Um, thank you. I, I'm just, yeah, ask him to come over, and I'll, 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 I'll situate this. Yeah, I think, I think they like, I think it's usually seventy-five bucks they want. So you can get them down to fifty. Yeah. With you or yeah, really you or so, um, so, sir, um, I hope you understand the situation that I was in. I did not nothing wrong, um, and I just I don't I want to come to an understanding with you. That we're both happy. I mean, I'm I've been have three hours of this agitation. Um, can I just give you fifty bucks and you'd be happy? And um, and I mean, I'm out fifty bucks, yeah. but because um, you got to realize that's a two hundred thousand dollar truck. <laughs> You should call Rebel News about this one. This is perfect. This is right up their alley. This is they do the fight the fines thing, right? Dude, I got a new purpose now. I got a new purpose to show the world of how this is tyranny, Kelowna style. It's more like it's just one douchebag cop. No, oh, no, that's what I mean. This individual, individual. This cop is abusing his power. He's, he's, I don't know. He's not thinking clearly. Obviously, like, he's lost perspective on what's important here. Like, I think that he's just upset that you're not obeying his every command. Like he thinks that you should be. That's what this is all about for him. What a what a day! So the today was so awesome. I you totally missed out not coming down here. It was amazing. There was semi trucks. There was so, some guy had a sweet semi truck, flat black, and it had the coolest horn that was low, like music, like a boat. Oh, it was like a It's a little burnout shot. I got my friend Heidi. She came out from Saramatta. Our streets are still alive. What time? What time is it now? You got the time? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the time it's of the time revolution. Yeah, guys. Woo! Thanks for coming out. Showing your support for oh, the world. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Well, guys, it just keeps going and going and going and going. And hopefully it just keeps going and rolling. You're killing it! You're killing it! Oh, my karma's <laughs>
they're losing the voice and everything. Oh, there we go. And that slow is so sweet. Like a boat horn. But it wasn't loud or hurt your ears, but it was like wah, deep. It was deep and he'd hold yeah. it on. It's like he was holding it halfway because maybe it goes too loud otherwise. I don't know. Probably one of those tugboat outfits. Yeah. Wah. I'll show you footage of it later. It was sick, yeah. dude. Yeah, you should have brought the train. The train ones are loud. Any of the guys with the train horns? Yeah. Those? Oh man, those things are sick. <laughs> There's a hold the road. <laughs> We found the convoy, it got a little confusing at one point. Oh, look at this! We've combined the convoy together. I can't believe this day. It's been so great, so great, and to like crazy, so crazy. So what's going on outside? Are they, are they talking out there? Are they yeah. Just their Officer, um, what is it, Hall is still talking. He's looking a little cold it seems because he doesn't have as big of a gloves or anything. It's freaking cold out there. Uh -huh. um, they're all I'm talking. Use that to your advantage, man. <laughs> yeah, they're all, the, the security, there's still three security and bylaw and then two officers or, and the tow truck driver maybe. I don't know. No, I don't. Oh, Meanwhile, the, people are shooting crack over, right over at Leon, like 150 yards away, you know? Yeah. Or I whatever. Bet you a, I bet you there's a crime being committed within 150 yards of you right now. Right now as we speak, I bet you. If they went and looked around, they'd find somebody breaking an actual law. It's just ridiculous. Like even the officer said, it's like usually yeah, like seventy five bucks just for like you know because they. Well, that's, yeah, that's tip. I remember that's. I remember Ben Gertzel in the exact same situation. He got hooked on at City Park. And he it doesn't matter. And they like went there and they waited until exactly eleven on the dot. And they hooked up and they. The fact here, is, it, bucks, the fact it. is, Matt, it'll be completely unsafe to tilt my vehicle up and drag that tail along the road. That is a freaking road hazard, and he should have known that right in the bat. And I'll bring that up when he comes back. It's like you know what, you knew. You were never gonna tow this because you can't tow this because I got that dirt bike hanging off the back and that thing drags on any change of elevation and you pilt that up, you're gonna be dragging the rear end, then bylaw and police will be on you. <laughs> well yeah, no, that's an that's an unsecured load. That's an but unsecured that load, yeah. Labor, management, politicians, fully. Uh, they can't tell corn from oats. Hurry, hurry, step right up, folks. Here's the answer to your problems, Dr. Utopia's sensational new discovery, ISM. ISM will cure any ailment of the body politic. It's terrific. It's tremendous. Once you swallow the contents of this bottle, you'll have the bountiful benefit of higher wages, shorter hours, and security. Enormous profits, no strikes. Remember, you're the big boss. Government control, no worry about votes, name your own salary, bigger crops, lower costs, why ism even makes the weather perfect every day. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, and then and then in the end, um, Hull came back after, you know, having a, some kind of argument with the, uh, the tow truck driver and he was in tears, his eyes were red, and he's like, okay, he's gonna unhook, and um... I'm going to make sure the constable doesn't pull you over down the road and you need to leave now. <laughs> so something went on between all them and he was in tears when he came back. You know, like he, his eyes were just, he had tears in yeah. his eyes, not tears falling off his face, but yeah, yeah. something transpired with that tow truck driver. Oh yeah, you're going to go right by the cop shop. No, I know. Right so I went there. down further by the casino and turned right. So now I'm on Doyle Avenue as a head. 
I don't know if I'm being tailed or not. Like, this is just like the no, pastor. Probably not. I'm sure you're fine. You can just head down to where Knox is. Head, turn left on Ellis or whatever. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Well, yeah, well, I'm glad it's pretty much over. Dude, hopefully. the guy wanted to give me a hug. He, it was insane, like, outside. And he's like, I was going to put the flag on the bike. He's like, don't worry about it, dude. Get the hell out of here. I'm so sorry. This is such a waste of your time and my time. Oh, for sure it is. Dude, he Absolutely. was, his eyes were watering. He was arguing with this fucker. He was, they were in it all over the I'm taking I'm going left and right I'm taking all these side streets just to but I'm yeah, so yeah, well, yeah I'm sure it's fine yeah I'm sure it's fine but but I'll be they could just radio it though you could be like oh, on the lookout but then I don't know it's oh. be fine like what are they gonna do pull you over and we'll see the same thing all over again like yeah I got a bylaw ticket in my window I can see now <laughs> oh shit damn the GoPro didn't record the last bit though like when I walked out and he was asking me about the dirt bike and stuff and I would have been a good and like do you race motocross <laughs> Uh, so, so is this Irv's cop pretty young or what? Yeah, yeah, he's pretty young. One of those new freaking Altifa guys. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he's a young cop, yeah. He just, you know, he's he just never showed me his face. I never saw his face ever. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know, young cop, you can could, you could see why he'd be kind of a prick, right? Man, this is the yeah. problem, dude. You get these pricks. Like, this is a well, real they're problem. Young. Well, they're young, right? They don't know any better, right? Sure. Once they get a bit older, they calm down a bit, a bit and realize that every confrontation isn't, you know, the worst case scenario every single time. Right? Where it needs to be the oh, hammer of law come down, right? Yeah. I just hit the red light. Because that's all. That's what he's thinking. He's soldiering right now. Remember? Remember on the wire, Colvin was like, "There's a difference between policing and soldiering." Oh man. Are yeah. He's talking about that. Yeah, policing and soldiering. Yeah. It's completely different thing. So this guy was soldiering and Hall was policing. That's a difference, right? Yeah, he's like, um, what's the guy's name on the wire? The good guy, um, the main character. McNulty. McNulty. He's a, yeah, Hall was McNulty. I'd say more like a Colvin, but yeah. Just trying to defuse oh, the situation, oh, yeah, yeah. right? Well, Mc, yeah, McNulty's doing his own kind of thing too. But uh, yeah. Holy crap, man! This was what? Oh my God! Well, no, now you know. Now you know. Or Corporal Hall is a good guy. If you're ever in a jam, you can probably call the guy. He'll remember you, right? Yeah. How do I get his number? There you go. Uh, ask for him. Well, no, you, you know who he is. If you ever, you know, if you ever needed a coffee, you need to trust. You, that would be the guy you would call, right? Yeah. Man, yeah, I can't so believe like, it. He, his eyes were watering. He was super upset about the scenario. Well, he's probably yelling with another cop. Right? No, and he's an actual mo. He's he actually is empathetic. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What, is it, what did mom say? She saw the video on YouTube, and that's why she's calling me. She was worried oh. because she saw. The, <laughs> she's like, "Get the hell out of there!" She's asking me, "What's going on? Are you in the camper?" Like she understood that. Like she's like, "Stay in the camper." I'm like, "No, mom, I gotta go now. <laughs> I gotta yeah, go." Yeah, like we did, we just we just worked out a deal. Now's the time. We worked out a deal. Alright, well, yeah, right on. I'm glad it worked itself out. Holy shit, back dude. To the show here. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Well, thank you for, um, it was really useful to get your opinions as I go because it's really hard to, like, always think on your own about everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Oh, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's nice to have a second set of eyes. I thought it was funny. We were both like, what was the complaint? Because he said, because I remember he would walk up and he said, I have a file. He said, I have a file. Four complaints. So four complaints you hear four times today or whatever. He just kept changing his story. Yeah, I know. That's what I noticed too. He kept changing it. Then we were like, what was the complaint? Like, he couldn't tell you. Like, he was just flip flopping, right? I hereby turn over to Ism Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom, in return for which said ism promises to take care of me forever. Pardon me. Pardon me. And who are you, my good man? I'm John Q. Public. Ah, my fine friend, you're just in time to share this generous and gigantic offer. Sign right here. Mm. Mind if I read it first? Hurry up! Don't no, bother to me! No, I know hey, it's here. I was here first! Oh, no, 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 Keep it. your shirts on, boys. You know, including... It's not my responsibility. It's the RCMP who called the tow truck illegally and you hooked up illegally and you know this is not my problem so yeah something will transpired after that that caused hall to have an issue 
And then he's like, you have to leave now. And I'm like, well, I'm still not quite comfortable. He's like, you have to leave now. I can't, I don't know what these guys are going to do. They're going to like, you know, the tow truck guy was saying, he's like, well, I own your vehicle now, essentially, because you're not paying me, right? You know, it just goes on and on and on, right? Just some oh, bullshit. Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? Uh, it, you know, like I said, the way, the way you handled it was, uh, you know, it was awesome. Like, too, not too many people under pressure would be as calm as you, straightforward as you, and, and just handle them because you know your rights, right? Like, so you did it just picture perfect. It was awesome. And it was uh, definitely a good video for people to see, to give them the confidence to realize, like, police are just people too, and they have rules that they have to follow. They can't just do whatever they want, right? And we have to hold them to account, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. My freedom. Freedom? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. Don't be corny, brother. <laughs> Sure, our system of free enterprise isn't perfect. But before we throw it away for some imported double talk... What happened? I fucking made it out, dude. Oh my god. When was the last time we talked so much shit happened? I told them there's a hippie in, a, in an RV just having dinner and they're picking on him because he's got Canadian flags. That, that was my... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> You're a hippie. <laughs> so... Yeah, the tow truck driver, he doesn't care. He puts it under my front wheels and I'm and then the cop comes back. He's like, "Okay, we you're you're being towed. Now you need to get out of the vehicle so we can tow it." Like like he's like, "Are you stupid? Yeah, I wasn't going to get out of the vehicle for you in the first place, second place, and certainly not now." Like it's that st so stupid. <laughs> and um so I tell the tow truck driver this and then the cops at me knocking on the window and I'm like and I'm like Dude, no. And I shut the window on him and he's just knocking. And then I'm, and my brother's talking to me on the phone. He's like, dude, just put some Seinfeld on, ignore them. Put some Seinfeld yeah, on. Fuck him. And, can't do nothing. and it'll piss them off that they're freezing and then you're there watching Seinfeld, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then they're banging on the back door. They're banging on the windows. The cop, that crazy fucking herb cop is no, banging on everything. Wait. And so I call them back and then I get another person. And then finally the corporal, Corporal Hall gives me a call. And he's, I'll be there in five minutes after I told him a brief story. And he finally arrives, and then I talked to him through the window. And he, um, like? he was great. Oh, dude, I called the station. I go, listen, there's a hippie being harassed, and I got it all on video. I'm across the street, and you need to send a real cop because we don't even know that this guy's a cop. He didn't get out of a cop vehicle. And she's like, okay, what's your name? What's your phone number? I'm like, can you please send a real police officer over here? Because this guy is harassing this guy. Yeah. And so dude, dispatch records everything. Yeah. It's all recorded. So Hall, I tell him the story at the window. And then he's like, okay, well, I'm going to go talk to him. And then he talks to him and he's like, well, can we, will you talk to him if I'm here in present over watching yeah. you guys talk? And I'm like, okay, like yeah. a three-way conversation. And you'll be here the whole time because him and I are, and dude, it went off. I had my brother on the phone at the same time listening. And you say personality conflict. That's all you gotta say. And um he said that there was I had there was four reports of of, of you. Um there's four I, like, I'm like, why I asked him, why did you knock on my door at seven fifty one? Because I looked at the time of the, the phone. And he's like, Oh, we got reports of you. And I'm like, What is the yeah. report? What's the comp he said we got four complaints. <laughs> what are the complaints? And he would not answer the question. Just like O'Toole. I even called him like, what are you like? O'Toole answered the question. He would not say why he knocked on my door. He said, and then he said, oh, I, 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 because you ignored the bylaw guys. And I'm like, no bylaw guy ever knocked on my door. Who knocked on my door? What time? Oh my God. He's just making up shit right? as he goes, dude. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of doctorism's formula. To see what you get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead, try it. You can't do this to me! I'll strike! The state forbids strikes. Wait till the Union hears about this! Ah, yes, the Union. Welcome to our ranks, number 1313. I'll take this case to the Supreme Court. The state is the Supreme Court. Our decision is as follows. No 
more private property. No more you. Well, the farm folk will put a stop to this. Farmers don't vote anymore. Well, what'll they do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. We must fight to regain our freedom or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. 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 After a long time where Hall is talking to him and trying to just like, dude, just get him to leave. I cannot leave until he leaves. Then the tow truck, then he's like, okay, now the other problem is the tow truck driver. He's been here for a long time. He's going to want some money to unhook. And I'm like, well, it's not my fault. I told him he couldn't even tow me in the first place. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just give him 50 bucks and, and you know, he can. And then the tow truck guy was a total douchebag, dude. He's like, you know how expensive this truck is? This is a $200,000 truck. I've been here for 40 minutes. The bill is $400 now. <laughs> And I'm like, that's your fault. I told you not to hook up. You're not being reasonable. And he's like, if you don't pay me, then it's gonna. Go, I'm gonna put a lien on it, and then I'm gonna take your vehicle. Yeah, that's. When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. And we know what to do about it. And now, gentlemen, no violence, please. And don't throw those bottles. Don't throw those bottles. No, 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 no. And then I'm telling the cop, like, dude, it's not my problem. He's contracted the RCMP. The cop has already falsely done this. He's already given up his bullshit. It is, you can go after the RCMP with your stupid contract. And then so Hall's like, oh boy. And then he goes and talks for like a half hour with these guys. He comes back and he's saying, okay, the tow truck driver is going to unhook. And, <laughs> and e the, this officer, Ebe's, Dr. Ebe's going to leave. And you got to leave now. He's, you got to leave go. now. And I'm like, You're well, like, okay. and I'm like, well, why do, I mean, like, you know, like, I think he's just going to pull me over again instantly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, why do, why can't I just hang around for an hour? I'm not camping. I'll hang around and leave on my own accord. And he's like, you have to leave now. And his eyes were watering. Doc, office, oh. Corporal Hull's eyes lost. were watering. Because Corporal but, Hull had to battle it out with these idiots. Dude, he never, he never followed you and nothing? No, I'm saying Corporal Hull said, you got to leave now. And his eyes were watering, dude. He is empathetic. He's, he's, um, emp was, he is, he's an empathizer. Yeah. He was empathizing and he didn't like having to talk to this other officer and the tow truck and tell him how it is. So he yeah. was empathizing with me and he was getting emotional about it. Oh, wow. Dude, he's a human. So he, he he's was a human. on your side the whole time, would you say? Yeah. Oh, wow. He, he was such, he's a perfect person to, to like, dude, call. Dude, most of these guys just make peace and they're full of shit, right? Like, there's so many subpar humans. Like, he gave me a handshake when I got out of the vehicle. He's like, you got to go now. And I'm like, should I put the flag on the dirt bike? And he's like, just go. They won't it's pull you over. Dude. They won't pull you over. I'm going to make sure of it. And he, I literally oh. almost wanted to give him a hug, dude. Dude, he is a dude. He's a dude. <laughs> Hey guys, well that concludes most of the footage from January 29th, 2022 with the police harassment from Conrad Hall, the bylaw harassment and wrongful tickets that were dismissed when I talked to the supervisor at bylaw. I'm still waiting on, dis on the, the disputed traffic tickets from Conrad Herbs. There was three of them, no um, red flag, no front plate and failure to give him my driver's license. There's a ticket for that as well. But then it continues because then the dinosaur media, the paid for media, the narrative on pay is Castanet Media in our local area. Castanet is taking all the money and funneling out all this bullshit. They just follow the narrative. They are part of the narrative. They are absolutely terrible human beings who are still working there and 
oh, it's just my job to funnel fake information. So they did a smear piece on me in collaboration with the RCMP. So let's take a look. You can see they grab a photo of me where it appears that I'm smiling. And I know this video very well because after I got shut the door on herbs on the very first video, I film myself and I'm like, can you just believe this bullshit? And as you've probably seen in the video, just, you know, a chuckle to myself about how stupid this is and how stupid this RCMP officer is and how much of wasting his own time and my time and the city taxpayers' money. 814. I'm getting hassled at 814. I'm allowed to be on the street. What a dickhead. So, um, yeah, we'll make this uh, interesting video. Dickhead police Kelowna. Terrible human being. Terrible human being. <laughs> It's just, and then how many officers were there? How many? There's five security maybe, two bylaw, um, two police in the end. How many thousands of dollars did this cost the Kelowna city? So let's take a lead read at the propaganda. An interaction videotaped between a man in a recreational vehicle parked in front of Kelowna City Hall and an RCMP, RCMP officer on Saturday, January 29th is making the rounds on social media. Local mandate mess, local mandate YouTuber Marcel Ernie. <laughs> so I'm an anti mandate <laughs> YouTuber. Marcel Ernie posted a series of videos of an interaction between himself and a Mountie who was trying to get him to move his RV from in front of City Hall after it had been parked there for much of the day. The Kelowna RCMP is aware of a video circulating on social media involving one of our officers and we have watched the content of that video, said ins Inspector Adam McIntosh. Now, McIntosh is the guy that always does these PR rep videos for the RCMP. He is their propagandist, just spews a bunch of shit. Operations officer of the RPMP. Yeah, so he is the media operations guy. Ernie takes exception to the officer knocking on the door of his RV and refuses to get out of his vehicle to provide identification. Instead, he opens a window in his RV and begins speaking to the officer the window. So, I don't have to give my identification. The officer does. Let's see if they mention that. The conversation gets slightly heated when Ernie tells the officer, you're not actually talking to me, you're just being negative towards me. The officer who refused also refuses to identify himself responds with you failed to comply with me so I'm not complying with you until you meet me out here pointing to the sidewalk. Go, let's go to the RCMP website. It specifically says that they must identify themselves unless they are undercover. Who remembers Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia where this guy dresses up like a police officer, goes and murders over, I don't even remember, over 10 people, there is a reason that public servants, especially police officers, who are <laughs> think they can talk down and control the citizens on these power trips, this good old boys club, they have to identify themselves for this, the protection of the civilians. At one point, the officer shows a timer on his phone and tells Ernie that a tow truck is coming to remove the RV at the owner's expense. The three videos of the interaction have now received a combined of 150,000 views. In the videos, Ernie said he believed he was being targeted because of his participation in the anti-mandate rally that day. Inspector McIntosh on Tuesday fully supported his officer actions. McIntosh, you're just a piece of shit for saying that. You support Conrad Herbs not following your own, your own mandate of giving ID. I asked him for his ID. I want his badge number. I want his ID badge. And I'm going to call the police station, the 1-800 number on your website or the local station to verify that this badge number is actually real. This is what everyone needs to do. When, a, when If you're being hassled and he wants your ID, you ask, or I mean, if they're being hassled for about anything and they always want your ID, you want his ID, not just the badge number and name, but you want to see the physical ID. Then you can go on the RCMP website and find the 1-800 number. I could find that in a second. Okay, I'm on the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Again, the police swear oath only to the Queen, not to the citizens at all, guys. They don't give a shit about us, this, this whole government. To the Queen, Royal Mounted Police. Have you ever thought about that? What the hell's going on? Anyways, officer identification. 
Your safety is our prior priority and we care deeply about the communities we serve. We regularly reinforce with our officers the importance of self-identification. Residents can request identification from RCMP police officers. The officer will provide the, that identification. In a situation such as a traffic stop, you may ask to see an officer's badge and ID card. Both the badge and ID card will show the same regimental number and the ID card will have a photo. If Yes, yeah, so then we got to pull this mask down and see who the hell is behind that Conrad Herb's mask. If you have further concerns, you may call dispatch at 1-800-803-RCMP. That's 1-800-803-RCMP on your phone, whatever that is, outside the Halifax region or 902 490-5020 within Halifax region of Nova Scotia to confirm the officer's identity. So this is what I'm going to do every time. We are committed to protecting Nova Scotians. <laughs> Speaking of Nova Scotia, again, the guy who murdered everybody. And we are always on the lookout for suspicious behavior under Section 130 of the Criminal Code. It is illegal to impersonate a police officer. Anyone caught doing so can face up to five years in prison. Yeah. If you suspect someone may be using or planning on using real police equipment, clothing, memorabilia, commit a crime, report it to Crime Stoppers. one 800 222 tips Okay, so that's the number, guys. So anyways, back to back to Macintosh, Inspector Macintosh. Wow. <laughs> you you think that Conrad's herbs actions were fully appropriate? You support his all of his actions for hassling me for being legally parked and the bylaw has been proven. I have proven the bylaw has dropped that and called it back from collections because I did a late dispute. I know some of your officers were looking for me. I've seen them stalking uh, my friend who has the exact same RV at Walmart. I know you were stalking him off duty possibly. You didn't call in the plates. Macintosh said, in review of the video, I would like to express my appreciation to the professionalism of the officer. Wow, Macintosh, you just put yourself right in the same boat with Herbs. Like, you might have been okay. Now, you're right down here in the ditch with Herbs as a terrible human being. Macintosh, you are a terrible human being, just like Conrad Herbs, hurting your fellow man, citizens, picking on people when you have no jurisdiction to do so, you have no reason to do so, the citizen has not done anything, in fact, you've been a good citizen for the community and everything around it. RCMP say there were no other incidents of this nature related to Sunday's anti-mandate rally. At one point in the video, while Ernie and the officer are arguing through the window, Ernie throws a middle finger in the officer's face, to which the officer responds, Enjoy your little commentary. Inspector McIntosh added, We will not be deterred by such behavior and will continue to do the job of police work while in support of public safety and public order. I wish you guys would protect and serve. I know Corporal Hall did that. You know, 2017 Constable Conrad Herbs, was he protecting and serving? Or was he being... Was he really policing? Or was he soldiering? Come on, McIntosh, who was being the soldier boy there? Your little soldier boy, Conrad? And then they show a picture from the video, and then they show a picture of me fingering him. Marcel Ernie flipping the bird to RCMP officer during a dispute over his RV. So this is Castanet trying to get likes, hits, make money, and the narrative is pretty well sewn into it. Who wrote this article? Let's look at that. Rob Gibson, another terrible human. Rob, you are a piece of shit. Like, seriously, this is a story on me. This is my story. You saw the first two 10-minute clips. What about the rest of the three hours? What about contacting me to get the story? You contacted Macintosh, Mr. Propaganda at RCMP. You watched the video and didn't ask to see what happened after that or what the rest of the story was or what my personal story was because this is a story that you guys propaganded or trying to smear me. You're sending all your leftists all your Joe Biden and Trudeau fans after me. You think I didn't get a bunch of Trudeau fans, Biden fans, you know, woke idiots attacking me on your forum that you put this on the forum and then on your Facebook group? You guys are sending hate, 
phone calls to me. You're sending, you're sending your haters to email me. That's dangerous what you guys are doing and doing smearing without getting a story to even go around it. This is not journalism. Have you ever looked up journalism ethics? I did. Let me go find it. Okay, guys, I'm on the Canadian Social Association of Journalists. And there is an accuracy to go with. We make every effort to verify the identities and background of our sources. We seek documentation to support the reliability of those sources and their stories. And we carefully are careful to distinguish between assertions and fact. The onus is on us to verify all information, even when it emerges on deadline. We make sure to retain the original context of all quotations or clips, striving to convey the original tone. Our reporting and editing will not change the meaning of a statement or exclude important qualifiers. Well, here we go. When we make a mistake, whether in fact or in context, and regardless of the platform, we correct it promptly and in transparent manner, acknowledging the nature of the error. So they have plenty of time to correct their story. It's still up exactly as we, as they have. We publish or broadcast all corrections, clarifications, or apologies in a consistent way. Now, under fairness, we respect the rights of people involved in the news. We give people, companies, or organizations that are public accused or criticized opportunity to respond before we publish those criticisms or accusations. We make a genuine and reasonable effort to contact them, and if they decline to comment, we say so. So the article did not say I declined comment. It did not say they tried to qu ask me any questions. My phone number is on my website. My phone number, all the haters were able to find it, that you, these leftist nuts people, nutso people, who don't understand anything about the narrative. Well, let's take a look at your little, one of your little quick forums, guys, or one. If you've watched the video, this RCMP officer is an absolute treasure. Now that's who should be running the Kelowna detachment. <laughs> Police officer, you can't park here. Normal person, okay, I'll move. It's so interesting how so many people could actually, like people, could watch this and not see authoritarian practice, the structure of rights, your rights. He did not have reason to ask me for ID. He did not have reason to have me move my vehicle. I was parked legally. I could have been there as the by as the security officer said. He just wanted me to know that if I'm there tomorrow morning, I will get a bylaw ticket. And the officer or Corporal Hall says, as long as you're not sleeping over or camping overnight, it's fine. You know, you just can't do overnight camping. You can park there. Everybody's going to the bars. This is downtown. And so, so for somebody to actually watch this and not understand that. It wasn't about that. If you can't read through the lines that if I went outside, I would have been arrested, jackbooted in the face, etc. My tow vehicle towed for no reason, wanted my identity. I would have been on the ground. I would have been charged with assault because the officer would be like, bump into me and you just assaulted me. Have you guys ever seen The Wire? <laughs> this is what police do, like Conrad Erbs. These are scum. This Conrad Erbs is a scum. He, and Macintosh for going along with it is another piece of scum. Like it's in, it's so crazy how human beings can be like this. So I'm just looking through some old screenshots of messages, and so here's a funny one: 7:59 p.m. February 1st. What a joke! So you were doing all this to gain views? That's hilarious. You mean to say somehow you managed to get a cop to attend for a video shoot? You called them to be an actor in your video shoot? Did you actually arrange for a cop to tend in order to get views? What stupid logic the cops and Castina use? As if you asked the cop to drop by. Oh, it's such a good point. I totally forgot to mention in the beginning. It's like, hello, RCMP, Kelowna. Can you send me down some crazy herbs? Uh, I'm making a film for YouTube about police harassment. Yes. Okay, great. Herbs is on his way. Like, man, wild, huh? And here's another one from Rick Crego on Instagram, R-I-C-K-K-R-E-G. As far as I am concerned, you are a real fucking disgrace to the human race that you, the way you acted with the RCMP and Kelowna. They should have broke your door off and dragged you away. You should be banned from YouTube and racing. <laughs> Thank you, Rick, Rick Crego. And here's one from Mark Strong, Strong6828 on Instagram. Get a real job and some class. 
Okay, uh, guys, a uh, YouTube comment saved. Reminds me the time RCMP ID'd me for no reason. Wish I didn't cave in and shared private info. They use that, document it in their system, and ruin your life. Why? Because you overparked? Laugh out loud. Cops truly deserve an award for their great service to the public. Next one, from K. Fred. They won't catch real criminals, but waste their time calling a tow truck because an RV poses such a big risk to the community. Very outstanding police work by the RCMP. Deserves an award, award for sure. Okay, we have Joseph. He is not a cop until he discloses his name and badge number. Civilians can dress up like cops. How are you to know he's not an imposter? Next one, Gail. Fascism at its finest. Street Stomper. This town has become such a joke. I am embarrassed to call same town as officer's home. And JR at the top. The police in Kelowna are not trustworthy. I grew up with such respect for SMP. No longer. They prove over and over again that they are not trustworthy or respectable. Shame on the RCMP. Change needs to happen. This totally reminds me of Baltimore, Maryland, watching The Wire and then the follow-up show on the line. Uh, now we have Miloma, killer RV dude, and Michael. But if you ask, they must provide their name and badge number straight from a lawyer's website. This officer was combative and did not follow protocol. Instead, they were driven by emotions. He could have just said that the vehicle cannot camp overnight and left it at that. People like this shouldn't be cops. And on to Narad should not have given the officer the finger. And Jesse, there you go, violation of bylaw. They're strict on parking in places like Kelowna because they want you paying for a spot in a campground. And then Jason says, Officer Brian Shelter. Richard Anderson, really picking the bottom of the barrel for cops these days. And Jay says, I don't want to pay taxes for people like that want to be officer and how bylaw brought with them yuck. Remember, your oath and your bosses should be ashamed of each of you representing tax paid municipal and federal regiments. Crying shame, not to mention unprofessional in the business sense of these enforcements. Hope none of you have kids who will watch you bully citizens instead of do your job. Last one, he is protesting. Leave him alone. <laughs> and here's my a fellow boondocking buddy. He says, I seen Castanet is trying to make you look bad with that video and I've had a strange day with cops running my plates and circling my RV because it's all flagged up as well. I was just wondering if they thought I was you and looking to cause problems. Yeah, and so I had a good conversation with that, but that'll leave for another video uh, where we go into the details where this one cop wouldn't run his plates actually, just stood and watched him in his vehicle for a half hour until Shea walked out and and then he realized he's the brown dude and the cop's like, oh, it's not Marcel and he buggered off, right? So by running the plates, they would have me in the system that they've done the plate search by not running. So that's why he didn't run the plates. He probably just wants to intimidate. Oh, I just came across a piece of news on CBC even. Surveillance video shows RCMP officer dragging and stepping on woman's neck after wellness check. RCMP officer drags student down a hallway and then steps on her head after detaining the woman during a wellness check. And so there's a whole story and video on that. So another prime example of a terrible person who works for the RCMP. And another one, Buddy Tavares. Who, who remembers Buddy Tavares' story where he got freaking jackbooted in the face by a cop after just doing his job of clearing the geese on a, on a, on a golf course and then he got... Somebody called the police on him, and he's got his, you know, he's got his shotgun all put away in the back seat, and he gets out of the vehicle, and the guy jackboots him in the face, and he loses his eye almost, and loses his job, and all these things, right? And you're driving down KLO. Yep. And uh, a police Stopped officer. Stop that, Gordon. The light turned red. Stop. And I seen police cars, and they're all headed toward the lake. You know, cop coming up, KLO turned around and go, and I'm watching all these cop cars going. I figured something was happening. Yeah. I'm sitting at the light stopped and they're going by me and then when I got to almost Pandozi then and I I hear the siren behind me, I took a look. I thought he he wanted to get by me. That's why I pulled over. Oh, okay. All right. And you, I didn't know it was for me. And you see this officer, this plain closed officer with his gun drawn pointed at you? Yep and asked him what I did. 
and he never answered me. He said, keep your hands on top of that steering wheel. If they move, I will shoot you. Okay. Mistaken identity. Like, you guys, I, this is the same as every day for weeks. Nothing is different except I'm down. And you're at one point, I, I take a photo of you with your hands up. Yeah. Okay. What's happening there? I'm doing what this guy pointed the gun. He's threatened to shoot me. He's telling me whatever he tells me, I do. Okay. Yeah. Buddy Tavares, I'm sorry that happened to you, buddy. Okay, so now let's look at the um, Castanet forum. I finally found some screenshots from the forum under Okanagan Discussion Forum. And it's called YouTuber Instigation is the title they put for it. And then the first guy, um, just popping in, says, Am I missing something here? Is this newsworthy Newsworthy or a wannabe famous on YouTube? Next one by Border4. Another scumbag disrespecting police trying to do their job. Go back to the trailer and shoot your YouTube videos. Comments of people literally like who don't have a clue about what's happening in the video and never saw the full story because Cassinet never reported on it. And they actually believe that I called the police to send down an actor. Like, this is how stupid humans can be. So let's continue. I watched both this guy's videos the other day, and yeah, he is a dink to the cop, but the cop was harassing him for trying to stay in his trailer on city streets. They came before 8 p.m. when he's legally allowed to be there and started drying, trying to boot him out. He was allowed to be there till 10 or 11. The cop repeatedly and refutedly refused to provide his name and badge number and was clearly power tripping. Could trailer guy have handled it better? Yes. Could cop have handled it better? You bet. Your bleep he could have. If the guy's allowed to park on the street till 10, why try to move him along at 8? Well, anyways, that was actually a decent comment. But uh, And then the next one is absolute comedy gold. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Some of my favorite quotes. You're acting like a child. Proceeds to flip off the cough at 8.14. It's at 8.14. I should have written the other ones I like down because I won't give this dude the views he so clearly wants. <laughs> Guy is a total tool. Feel sorry for the cop having to deal with such a tool. The cop thought, what, the cop though was a little weak. This is one time a good head busting would have done everyone a world of good. Yes. And the next one, went to school with the instigator. He was a tool back then and looks like he's a tool. <laughs> he's still a tool. <laughs> I guess that's me. From uh, Vaxilly Safe. It's hard to see these things. Uh, by Sonny Taylor. So apparently this Sonny knows me. I'm embarrassed to say I've personally known him in the past. I didn't like his attitude in the video and it bothers me to watch him do this. Castanet has featured him before as a superbike motorcycle racer. And they put in a link to that one on the Pikes Peak. There is plenty of stuff on Google about this aspect of, and of other things. Search my name, Marcel Ernie. He's definitely got the kahunas to challenge the edge of his own existence. But I could say seriously bad things about him that would be disturbing. But that might challenge the edge of my legal existence and possibly violate forum rules. Some bullshit from Sonny Taylor. <laughs> uh, let's move on. And then um, this person responds to Sonny. Not vaxi safe again. Not surprising. I also have a plethora of stories that would probably violate the rules here. Some people just thrive on being idiots and saying, hey, hey, look at me. I'm important. Oh yeah, just pointless. They have nothing to say. Just full of shit, guys. Oh, here's a message from an old uh, motorcycle friend. Um, ironically, I stumbled onto your onto the article and casting it. I was checking to see if the fire that was set at my parents' place yesterday made the headlines. The police arrested a guy stealing in West Kelowna yesterday morning, then released him. An hour later, the guy went and broke into a van, and he was chased up road. My parents live by the van owners, but managed to elude them. I guess when he felt safe, he took a wheelbarrow and some wood and paper from their recycling bin and started a fire again at his shop. So this happened. So here you go. This is police not doing anything about something that actually might help the citizens of the community. He goes on, showed me a picture of the burn, and after that, seeing your account with a cop, it's hard not to be frustrated with police police priorities. My dad was down there that day too. I wouldn't have gone, but it was only day two post-surgery. We have reset Canada. This system is broken. Yes. 
Okay, now let's back to YouTube comments, unedited. If he went outside, they would have arrested him, then told his, ve then told his vehicle, good deal, you know your rights that you shut the door. Um, the virgin cop versus the Chad trucker. <laughs> the police officer is required when asked to identify themselves. And we could go on and on on these comments forever, guys. Next one. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Next up is to wear the racing leather. Oh, no, that was in Costco. I got uh, I got more fans than you do. I really don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to just get this video done, so we're going to cut it there. It's so funny how humans are all over the place, but this is Ernie Racing News, guys. Thanks for listening to the story about the police harassment, tow truck racketeering with Mario's towing going on in Kelowna with the RCMP, and Castadet propaganda, and of course propaganda across all dinosaur medias. Stay off the dinosaur medias, guys. Cheers. Bye. Wow, there's quite a scene going on right now. The whole street, a whole bunch of people hanging out. There's, I mean, we got one, two, three, four, and a paramedic. Four cops, no, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Woman's having some issues. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then in the cars, maybe six, 16, 16. Yeah, like what a scene, guys. Quite a scene. A lot of standing around. Insane, huh? I mean, why does everybody have to be here standing around? It's like a. You know.